Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create thick embossed text and other shapes into materials such as leather. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. You can download this texture or other textures at cgtextures.com. Call up your type tool and click on the character text box. I'm choosing a font called Black Oak which you can download for free at ufonts.com. Because this font is already very extended, I'm decreasing its horizontal scale to 70%. Click on your document and type out your text. To reposition it, call up your Move tool, click on your text and move it. Let's close our text windows by clicking on the double arrow. Go to Layer, Rasterize and Type. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Go to the text layer, press Ctrl or Command as you click on it and this will call up its selection. Then click off its eyeball to hide the layer. Go to Edit and Stroke. We'll stroke it by 20 pixels, the colors black and the locations outside. Press Ctrl or Command plus Delete to delete the selection. Let's rename this layer Stroke. Double click on the thumbnail to call up its layer style window. Slide the fill opacity to 0 and click on drop shadow. The blend mode is multiply, the opacity 70% and the distance is 1 pixel. Keep in mind, depending on the size, resolution and characteristics of your text, you may want to adjust the amounts for your layer styles. Uncheck global light and we'll change the angle to minus 56 degrees. Change the size to 3 pixels. Click on Inner Shadow and change the Blend Mode to Hard Light. We'll change the Opacity to 48%, the Distance to 6 pixels, the Choke to 17%, and the Size 9 pixels. Click Color Overlay and click on the Color Box. The Hue and Saturation are both 0 and type in 60% for the brightness. Change the Blend Mode to Linear Burn. Make the inside of your text visible by clicking on the eyeball. Double click on the thumbnail to make it active and to call up its layer style window. Slide the fill opacity to zero and click on bevel and emboss. Click on inner bevel and smooth. The direction is up and change the size to six pixels. Soften it to two pixels and change the highlight mode to linear dodge and its opacity to 14%. Change the shadow mode to linear burn and its opacity to 8%. Let's make a composite snapshot of our entire image. Click on the top layer and press Control shift alt e or Command shift option e on a Mac. We'll make a copy of this layer and click on the layer mask icon which makes a layer mask next to the active layer. Call up your elliptical marquee tool and click on the top left corner of your document and drag out a selection to the opposite corner. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Go to the top middle of your selection and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag down a bit to move the selection away from the top and bottom edges. Then press Enter or Return to accept the transform. Go to Select and Refine Edge. The Refine Edge window will open. We'll feather it to about 60 pixels. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the selection with black. Click on the layer to make it active and delete the selection. Press Ctrl or Command plus L to call up the Levels window and change the input midtones to 0 .40. Change the output light tones to 200. Using these simple techniques, you'll be able to create thick embosses of text and other shapes in most materials. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.